A couple of weeks ago I made a video about some strengths and weaknesses of KDE Plasma and what my thoughts are on this specific desktop environment. And in today's video I had a meeting with someone that many of you are already familiar with. The KDE developer and content creator Nico from Nico Loves Linux. And let me just say that my first time in this interview-like talk was interesting. What sparked uh, this video for me is uh, I saw your video regarding Plasma, the latest one. I do have to say that I did watch it when it came out and now I completely forgot what <laughs> it was about. Do we have like a very quick summary about what he said? So if anybody missed it. Yeah, I was talking about Plasma and the things that it does way better than GNOME does currently, mostly about completeness in terms of new features, variable refresh rate, fractional scaling and all that, customization, of course, and in general, how Plasma keeps itself more up to date than GNOME does or seems to do so. And yeah, mm -hmm. I did switch my daily rig over to Plasma because I like playing games, I like to try out new things, and I'm trying to build a personal desktop environment for myself, what I really like. Yeah, I love how the summary is extremely positive and paints uh, Plasma in a very positive light. I do remember some criticism as well. And I also saw like, mm -hmm. maybe it was a tweet or on Mastodon that you said that the more you customize Plasma, the more it gets similar to GNOME. <laughs> Same happens for me, actually. I do really enjoy the GNOME workflow, apparently. So we're apparently very close in that aspect as well. I did try out Plasma 6 already. And I gotta say, I love the new overview. It's, it's actually oh. in, in insane. <laughs> what you pulled off. <laughs> I'm very no. happy to hear that. <laughs> no, it, it's it's really impressive. Uh, it's, yeah. it's not quite the same as in GNOME, but it's very powerful in its own way. The grid view, like, like that is something that I really like when I have a lot of windows open. Really, my idea there was just copying GNOME because what they're <laughs> doing is very good in my opinion. I also tried for a certain amount of time to map that uh, overview effect to the meta key on my laptop to see how it was. The main difference of course is that I don't have any way to launch applications in that. There's the search but of course you don't have all the applications on the bottom like GNOME does which is cooler. But I guess it makes sense if you have several windows or several desktops open then it's kind of hard to access like a sort of panel or something. And the thing is that Plasma is extremely modular and you can change everything so just the idea of implementing something like a bottom bar to launch your applications in the overview then we have to start thinking about do we have like a widget in there like it's on the panel or do we do something custom because if it's a widget then probably the user should be able to change it like install third-party widgets to replace it so as soon as you start allowing this a lot of complexity ramps up so we just decided to keep it simple for now but there are like ideas and designs on how to actually insert some of that stuff in the overview as well. Yeah. So how, how was Plasma 6? Did yeah. it work? <laughs> so I, I didn't try it out on bare metal, uh, but I ran it on my Proxmox server with everything GPU accelerated that was possible to get the bare bones experience, I guess. Um, no, like initial impressions are really good and I love the new floating panel. I don't, I'm not sure what it is exactly, but something about it makes it feel way more modern, even though the old Plasma panel was also very nice I'll looking. It. I don't super like how it's implemented right now, could be better, but I just couldn't find any other way to make it work. <laughs> right now I'm just hoping that it works nicely right now. It seemed to have not too many big issues, but I still have a lot of lagginess, the panel jumping around, some missing animations. So it does mean that in these three months I'm gonna spend at least a couple of weeks just trying to make sure it's perfect. You mentioned animations. I find animations in Plasma are a bit inconsistent. Like the snapping doesn't have an animation, but then like resizing a window that does have an animation. I'm pretty sure it does wait. <laughs> ah yeah, it doesn't. Oh, <laughs> I, j I just noticed that it doesn't have an animation. That should probably get fixed. <laughs> like, <laughs> you're right, it should have one. I thought it had. Usually everything has an animation, like if you minimize, if you open a pop-up, if you close a window, all of that stuff should have an animation. I am quite surprised by the fact that snapping, <laughs> snapping hasn't. 
I also took a look at the new settings, which, yeah, they are changing. I'm not entirely sure if it's better or worse yet. I guess it, it still takes some time to figure that out. So uh, we spent a lot of time actually discussing how to uh, put the categories in a way that makes sense for the user and such. And it's not like 100% complete because uh, some technical reasons, obviously. Uh, I am sort of happy about the categories. The only thing I'm not sold uh, about is the order. Uh, they are inserted because when we discussed all of this I thought we were just putting them in random order but that was actually the agreed upon one so I was a bit confused about that <laughs> but generally speaking I thought they are fine and uh, I do think that we made the search button in system settings much more powerful so if you need to find something that comp compensates a bit the amount of options that we have mm -hmm. to provide in system settings so yeah Something comes to mind. I was going through the old settings and what I did find was a grid view. Is there a reason on why this was removed in Plasma 6? System settings is very weird because currently it's half Qt widgets and half QML. Some parts of system settings have been ported over to QML and uh, our end goal is to have eventually all of system settings in QML. The, the grid view that you found was very old. It was Qt widgets only and we were trying to get rid of it and we would have done that much earlier. If it wasn't that apparently accessibility works much better in it, there's one distance I don't remember which one, which uh, still uses it as a default because the accessibility is better compared to the sidebar. But eventually for Plasma 6, we just decided to finally get rid of it because we just prefer to have everything over QML with the design that uh, we are going towards. So that is the future of uh, system settings. I think you also mentioned, let me bring up one thing that I do remember um, in your video, Discover. Yeah, like the settings are a bit odd when it comes to theming. That that's also a relic of the past, like that you can download theme straight from the settings instead of discover. Like it's it's currently both, but but like with different user interfaces and everything. Yes. So we initially you could download themes and such uh, just from system settings, and then we thought of adding them as a different section to systems uh, to discover as well to have a unified way to find out all about the KD store. You can also literally go to I think it's store .kd .org mm -hmm. and see all the themes there as well. It's the same thing in three different places, just depending on what you need. Design-wise, we've been working a lot on Discover and the designs should be much improved compared to previous versions and it is improving at each release. Also, usually when we receive um, Discover complaints, it is stuff such as uh, maybe some results aren't showing or it's loading forever, this kind of things. And those aren't actually Discover's faults at all because Discover just uses the backend uh, to fetch for packages and such. And most of the time it is actually the distribution that incorrectly configured the whole thing. And we, we often have to try to communicate that to the, to the user like with a pop-up that says this issue is because of your distribution. Actually, it's not because of us. It's not our fault, but it, it's difficult as you can mm -hmm. understand. One thing that I would like to see at some point filters in the install page where everything is, is mixed together. So Discover is a bit lacking in that, I think, uh, because it, it's not really what it was meant to do. It was something that we added later on to have a unified store of all themes. But sure, I don't see why we wouldn't eventually. I, I eventually. don't think anybody's working on this right now, but eventually, sure. OK, so thank you. Yeah, thank That's you. That's everything from me. <laughs> OK. That was definitely something, but I had a blast talking to Nico about Plasma and its upcoming release. But that wasn't everything that we've talked about, so definitely make sure to check out his video as well. If you've liked this video, then please feel free to show it with a like and why not also subscribe to the channel while you're at it. For special emotes, an ad-free experience and much more, make also sure to check out our membership program in the description below. Thanks for watching.